on, Dwight, pick up. You ever, you ever had this? Where you're just like, you're calling somebody, and you think the ringing is gonna stop, but it just never stops. It's, it's been like 20 minutes. Why hasn't he picked up yet? Why am I not hitting voicemail or something? What is, what's going on? Are you kidding me? No voicemail or anything? <laughs> is it okay? <laughs> okay, as a collaboration engineer, the one thing we want to prevent, the one thing that will give us an F on our report card, apart from you know everything English blowing up and breaking down, is drop calls. We don't want calls to drop for any reason at all. But the strange thing is, out of the box, CUCM, guess what it does? Uh, you got it, it drops calls. By default, with our directory number configuration, if we don't do anything about it, um, after about an eternity of ringing, what it feels like, the call will drop. There's a T301 timer built in. Uh, it's a service parameter that you can actually change. You shouldn't have to, but it is there. Um, a call will ring for three minutes. That's a long time. And when you reach the end of that three minutes and the call just drops, oh my gosh. Now, as a collab engineer, calls, they are, they're precious. Every one of them. They're kind of like a baby. <laughs> Each one of them precious and then they need to be taken care of and what's one of the things you don't want to do with a baby? Drop them <laughs> So when each each call comes into the world <laughs> It's our job to make sure that it is handled or taken care of and we do this with call coverage call coverage is Just a bunch of features that gives us the ability to make sure a call Is taken care of and to make sure that it's not dropped all right, so the first way we can prevent our, you know, babies from being dropped with call coverage is a thing called call forwarding. So with call forwarding, when our precious call arrives, we will no longer rely on the T301 timer. We'll set another timer that says the call can only ring for this amount of time. And when that timer is reached, we'll have to decide what to do with this crying baby or this, you know, call ringing. Now, Dwight could say if he doesn't answer, we'll just have the baby go to, we'll just put the baby to sleep and, and get back to it later or <laughs> have the call go to voicemail. Or you could even say that I'm not going to be around for a while, so I want every one of my calls to go to voicemail. So call forward all my calls. Or you could even just have your baby go to someone else, or your call go to someone else, uh, and they can handle it for you. And you can do that with all of your calls, or if you don't answer, whatever. So call forwarding is making sure that we handle that baby with care when someone calls you directly, and you're just not able to answer the phone. Now a slightly better way to make sure your call is actually answered by someone, or you know the baby is taken care of, is a call coverage feature called called <laughs> shared lines. So with shared lines, when that call comes into, uh, let's say Dwight's number 5124, that baby is crying, what we'll do is we'll assign that directory number to more than one phone. The second you sign that directory number to another phone, it becomes a shared line. That's how CUCM views it now, it transforms. So what do you think happens when a call comes into a shared line? Now if you guessed that it would ring that line on every one of the phones it's configured on, you are absolutely correct. So essentially it's like having a house full of family, the baby starts crying, hey, just the first one who picks him up is the one who takes care of it. Now similar to shared line, and I, I love the way it does this, is the call pickup. So in that scenario, when, when our precious call comes in and is crying or ringing, if Dwight here doesn't pick up right away, like maybe five seconds, well then he'll have a backup group of people that will be alerted his phone is ringing and they could then pick up that phone call for him. And this is different from a shared line because his line isn't actually shared. They all have their own lines. They are just alerted and have the option to pick up his line if he doesn't pick up right away. Now this next call coverage option is all about delegation. Or, that ain't my call, that ain't my baby. This one is called, uh, well, called, <laughs> call park. Very similar to call hold, you know, when you just you know put the call on hold and they hear that great music, so kind of like <laughs> just going into your baby's room when they're crying and, and turning on some music for them. They're still crying, but they got some nice music. So it's like that, except you'll put on your nice little earmuffs so you don't hear the baby crying anymore, and you will park the baby, <laughs> or park the call, at a certain number or parking spot, and they will sit there and listen to nice music and, and, and stay in that spot, and you'll tell someone else, hey, hey, uh, hey, Bob, uh, there's a baby for you on 7100. Can you, can you take care of that? So it's, it's kind of like call hold on steroids, but really cool. And now we have the big daddy, our call hunting. This is for the high priority babies or the high priority calls. We, we take extra care with these. Now with call hunting, we're no longer looking at the individual line. 
call hunting, you actually set up a special number, like a main line for a company or a toll-free number, and we set this up to make sure all these calls are answered, at least to the best of our ability. So when that call comes in to our special number, we'll then have options to make sure that call is handled. So we could say, I want this call to ring at this person first, Dwight, and then if they don't answer, I want it to go to this person, and if they don't answer, I'll have it go to this person. Or I could have it say, I want the baby to cry at all of these people all at once to make sure the call is answered immediately. It's sort of like your call center-esque function for CUCM, kind of like an IVR system. It's got a few bells and whistles, and it's, it's pretty fun, so we're going to have fun with that. Anyhow, in this nugget, we saw how we will never, ever drop a baby or drop a call as long as we implement call coverage efficiently. And there are a few different ways. Anyhow, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.